Today, I'll be talking with Tim Cook, director at Agile at Goyadi.fit. Tim, I know you've got a really interesting story because I know we've just spoken, but um, tell everyone a little bit about um, your Caspio and your no-code journey, uh, a little bit about yourself, your company, and um, your background. Sure. Uh, well, I actually come from a release train engineer background, so I'm actually used to working with developers and having them do the work uh, more so than myself. Um, but my company is a fitness company. I actually started it after I got Lyme disease. Um, it unfortunately was uh, kind of debilitating. I suffered from a lot of fatigue, and that's what actually led me into fitness uh, because the treatments I was receiving, unfortunately, weren't working. Um, so fitness actually saved my life. So these are the workout routines uh, that I use to help kind of keep my illness in check and to be able to live a better life, we'll call it. Yeah, it's um, like I said, if I could look at your website to get some background and there's a quote that um, is it kind of, I suppose it gives you some inspiration on a Monday. I'm just going to read it for everybody. I build legends when I'm working on something that is important to me. I want it to stand forever. That's some inspiration on a Monday. To build something that I guess was new and different and make sure that I was actually getting fit. Uh, was I actually improving? I mean, you can go on a, uh, you know, a, a Stairmaster or a treadmill and you can just burn as many calories as you want, but are you actually getting the work in? Um, so that's really what I focused on with this app is, you know, what work are your muscles actually doing? Yeah. Well, going back, to, I know you've become a Caspio customer back in July of this year. So what brought you to consider um, no code and low code and obviously Caspio as well? Sure. Um, actually, I've tried to build this app several times with other development teams. Um, unfortunately, the issue I had was that I couldn't change it. Like I wasn't in control. Uh, I, if I needed to make a change, I had to pay for it. Uh, and it was, you know, quite costly. So one of the things that drew me to Caspio was just the fact that I would be able to manage everything and have my hands into everything. So if there was an issue, I could address it directly. I didn't have to reach out, you know, go around to other people. I could, I could handle it. And I, I found that with Caspio. Yeah. Tim, what challenge would you looking to overcome? Was there something where you think it's not working quite well? I can do, improve this. What was a specific area? Uh, I think the, the biggest issue that I ran into was being able to add new workouts. Obviously, with a fitness company, you know, it can get stale if you just have the same workouts. And obviously, if I was hoping to expand to maybe other trainers, they would have different workouts than I would, too. Uh, so I really just wanted to be able to add new workouts in. Uh, and Caspio made that super easy. It's really just one line. So, <laughs> yeah, no, it's good to hear. So can you remember what the deciding factor was why you selected Caspio? Because I'm sure you must have looked at other providers as well. Sure. Uh, honestly, it was free for me to try and yeah. kind of play around with. So I had an opportunity to really get my hands, get my hands dirty and, uh, you know, get into the background of things and see how everything worked. So what benefits have you found? So I know it's always since July that you joined us, but have, have you seen some benefits already? I have. Obviously, I have a working app now, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> some of the benefits, I mean, I don't know that I would have gotten as far as I have without some of the support from uh, the sports staff. Uh, definitely gotten some some great links and great guidance on how to make some of the changes I wanted. For example, you know, I had some concern about branding, you know, my my colors are black and gold, you know, and how do I integrate that? And I got immediately like three links to tutorials and uh, some of the uh, uh, job aids, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what you call them, but uh, some of the aids that you have yeah. uh, made it very simple. Within probably 20, 30 minutes, I had a branded app instead of just, you know, the generic starter app. How did you find the videos, Tim? Do you find them really useful? I do, actually. Um, I was actually surprised with the uh, catalog, the library that you have. Uh, it's pretty expansive. It's, uh, honestly, it's probably far more than I would need, given yeah. the simplicity of my app. But uh, whenever I did have a question, you know, I could reach out or actually I could look myself probably, but it's <laughs> so much easier to reach out to a support person and have them get you to exactly where you need. Are you seeing any type of return on investment, um, whether it's kind of like hard dollar savings or efficiency savings or what's, what are you seeing? Well, I mean, just as far as upfront costs, it was definitely cheaper uh, with yeah. other places that I've gone with. You know, I had to spend thousands of dollars up front 
And then I didn't know what I would get at the end. In this case, Caspia let me try for free, you know, helped me build the app. And then once the app was finally ready, that's when, you know, I was <laughs> ready and able to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. And it's um, what advice kind of would you give somebody if they're considering um, Caspio or no code? Um, if they're really going to kind of dip their toe in the water, what would you say to them? Uh, well, I guess the first thing I would tell them is just make sure you have a good vision of what you want first, because then you're going to know the questions you're you're going to want to ask and get help with. Um, as as far honestly, I would just tell you to work with Caspio just because it's probably the the simplest and most um, has the widest breadth of options uh, that I was able to find. Yeah, that's no, so like for example. Idea. Uh, if I can just give an example, I did try it with Tableau as well, but uh, I didn't have my own tables in the background. So that would have been a separate uh, a separate piece that I would have had to manage with Caspio. It's all in one. Yeah. You mentioned before we talked about um, your increase in visibility on websites. So you're seeing more people coming to your website now? I am. Uh, I've actually had a huge increase since the app launched. That's great. That's great. It's great to see when there's a benefit that's happening so quickly. Like I said, you've only been a customer since July. So I suppose looking ahead is a little bit more difficult, but how do you see Caspio No Code helping you in the future? Uh, you know, actually, there's a lot of ways that I've seen. Number one, you know, I have my kind of main app, but then I've also gotten like offshoot apps where you yeah. can pull reports uh, and things like that. And honestly, I can whip those up very quickly. I think, you know, after I got the first app made, the the second and third only took, you know, a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, no. So what's your background then, Tim, with regards to kind of technical? Because some customers I speak to have got really strong technical backgrounds and some mm -hmm. customers have no background and no coding whatsoever. So kind of where do you fit into that? Sure. Uh, I started my career as an analyst. Um, so I, I actually don't have development uh, professional experience. Uh, everything is just kind of a hobby. Yeah. Uh, but what I do now is I, I actually lead software development teams uh, in an agile framework, uh, as a release train engineer. Okay. So you, you pretty got a good technical background then a little bit, a little bit. I mean, I, I know what everyone's supposed to do and not, yeah. maybe not be able to do it myself. Yeah. Well, Tim, thank you for sharing your Caspio and no code journey. We really appreciate it. I'm sure it's going to inspire some, um, some prospects and some customers to really kind of maximize what they're doing out there right now. And thank you for your business. We really appreciate you being a Caspio customer. Yeah, thanks, Paul. I appreciate it.